Howdy, Patrick here from Half Cheetah Will View, and it is Wednesday afternoon. Uh, so that means one thing: that must be it must be time for a library haul. Uh, yep, I headed on down to the library. Um, they had a ton of stuff there this week. Uh, they replaced the uh, they replaced the bag uh, the the bag sale. Um, holy crap, it's almost time for another one. They got a ton of donations in. Um, this is one aspect of physical media purge that will benefit collectors such as ourselves. Uh, because a lot of people are, are unloading uh, a lot of other physical media for streaming. Um, so I benefited from that a little bit. And I will show you what I got this week. Uh, I'll start off with the Blu-rays. So the first thing I got from the library is a drama called Supernova. Uh, this stars uh, Colin Firth and Stanley Tucci. Uh, they are partners. They're, uh, it's a look at a, at a mature gay relationship. They've been partners for 20 years. And according to the back of it, one of them is, is pretty sick. Um, so they're going across England and saying, you know, talking to friends and family and whatnot, you know, in their camper van, and um, it's just a, a look at, at a relationship in the twilight. Uh, yeah, I like movies like this. Uh, like I said, I watch anything and everything, and who, who, you know, how can not anybody want to watch a great, a great movie like this um, with two excellent actors? So, yeah, this is Supernova. Next up, I got Judas and the Black Messiah. Uh, yep, another heavy drama uh, with, Danny, with Daniel Kaluuya and um, Lakeith Stanfield and Jesse Plemons, Martin Sheen. Um, it's an FBI agent who goes undercover on a Black Panther uh, group and uh, is trying to expose the leader for all sorts of shenanigans, but uh, he tends to like the leader and so he has a battle of his conscience. Does he do Does he do what the FBI wants him to do or does he do what his heart tells him to do? So uh, I've heard nothing but great things about this movie. I like the cast um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing this sooner than later. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was over watching um, uh, American Werewolf in New Jersey, and he was covering underwater. And uh, we were talking about Kristen Stewart and and you know how her star is, you know, it shines brightest in independent films, but mainstream media, mainstream audiences just don't seem to like her too much. Uh, it's interesting because I actually have a lot of Kristen Stewart material. Um, I have to watch some of it, but I do have a lot of it. And I actually picked up another one I did not have uh, in The Land of Women. And this stars Kristen Stewart and Meg Ryan and uh, Olympia Dukakis. And this is another uh, interesting drama that I picked up. Uh, I got all these for a dollar, the movies I got for a dollar. So, um, I remember hearing about this faintly, but this has been a while ago since this came out. So, I haven't, so I didn't, uh, I didn't, I don't really remember anything of it too much. I do know that this is one of her early roles. So, and she supposedly had really done really well in it, uh, Kristen Stewart here. And this is the first role, I think, for Adam Brody. And, of course, we have Meg Ryan down here. Uh, yep. So, what drama? But not all drama, because one of the things about going to the library is sometimes you find some unexpected treasures. Like My Bloody Valentine, 1981, in pristine condition. Uh, even has a slip cover. <laughs> this is the special edition uh, of, of My Bloody Valentine, uh, 1981. And it has some special features on the back of it. And no, I did not have this. I did not have this in my collection. And, uh, but for a dollar, I do. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I found the Evil Dead there at the library, the original one. 
I found Halloween 78 there. Um, and now this is the, this is the latest one I've gotten from the 80 slasher classics, uh, My Bloody Valentine. So there you go. Uh, and I did manage to pick up one series. Uh, this is the one part about the library that frustrates me. Last week I went down there and, um, they don't have any, they don't have any set pricing. Uh, the pricing is, I mean, it's other than for the, the DVDs and Blu-rays, they're a dollar, always a dollar. But when it comes down to sets, they don't know whether to charge you per disc or, or, uh, for the set itself. Uh... So it's a little bit frustrating to me because it's like I go down one week, I get a disc, I get a box set for three dollars. Well, if I come back and I see another a box set, I'm expecting that. Um, I'm not expecting to pay a dollar per disc. If you're going to charge one or the other, be consistent. That's all I ask. Um, but for the third thing, and some of you might be might laugh at this, but some of you know that I do this. Um, I found a Food Network uh, season. Uh, Giada De Laurentiis, uh, Everyday Italian. Uh, me and Lori enjoyed watching uh, uh, Giada, and uh, she's a lot of fun. She's really cute, and she makes really good food. And um, so I was able to pick this up for $3. Now, this is the first box set of, of Food Network that I've actually found at the bookstore um, at the library. Uh, I've got my other ones I found all over at the Goodwill. So this is the first, and hopefully not the last, because this would be a lot of this would be a nice trend to find. These things are so fun to watch. Even if you're not even a cook, just sitting there watching them cook cook something and see how well it looks. It's it's pretty cool actually. It's very relaxing. And um that's what I really like about watching about the Food Network, some of these these afternoon shows like this. But it's really, really relaxing. And so, yeah, I picked this up for three bucks. So, yep. Um, a small haul this week, for sure. I mean, last week I had like 15 items. This week I only got uh, five. But um, I like it. I thought it, I did I thought I did pretty well. And uh, looking forward to going back next week. All right. So, if you like this video, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. And please leave us a comment. Because the cheetah who's sitting over there cleaning up, he would have liked it. I would like it. And uh, we will see you guys next, uh, well, we'll see some of you tomorrow. We'll see some of you on Sunday. And we'll see some of you on next Wednesday for the next haul video. And we'll see you on the flippity flip. Peace.